Hi everybody, today we're going to be making a video game in 10 minutes. We're going to use the Construct 3 video game engine to do that, which is a fantastic browser-based video game engine for making 2D games. Uh, it's very quick to make prototypes in, as well as full-scale games that you can deploy to multiple platforms. Hopefully by making a game in 10 minutes today, it'll demonstrate how quickly you can, in, uh, you can incorporate some pretty common behaviors and features into a game or an idea that you might have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly select two behaviors. I don't know what they are ahead of time. And I'm going to challenge myself to make a game in 10 minutes. It'll be a lot of fun. I've done one of these so far. This is my second one. We'll see how it goes. Let's jump in. Okay, so these are the behaviors that we're going to be selecting from. I removed some of them because they're kind of boring. But I've already implemented the majority of these into a spinning wheel that I'm going to randomly select from. And we'll see what sort of game emerges. Okay, so the first behavior is rotate. Uh, that is a behavior that you can assign to an object and it rotates at some speed. And tween. Okay, tween is a pretty flexible behavior. Tween you can use in all sorts of things. You might use it on user interface elements to almost any behavior. It's a way to do different ways of um, going between this number to that number and you can do it in a linear fashion you can do it uh in an overshoot and they have in and out and bounce and they have all these different you know nicely set up things that make some some cool uh effects for how you decide to implement it you can do it on your position you can do it on your opacity you can do it on anything you want so, okay so we've got tween and we've got rotate i could do a tween on my rotate so i think that's probably what i'll do all right but let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the game engine here. Let's start a new project. We're going to call this uh, uh, Roto Tween. Great name. And just before I start the clock, just be aware I'm probably going to be using assets from craftpicks.net. It's a great website. I subscribe to it. I'll put a referral link down below. Great for 2D art. Lots of freebies. If you subscribe to it, though, you get access to the whole site. I don't have much time for games. Uh, or sorry for art making when, when I'm making my games and it's just a blessing to be able to come in here and get a lot of high quality artwork uh, very quickly so let's go back to the engine all right with that said let's go ahead and put the time on the clock we are going to make one epic roto tween game all right refresh and let's go ahead and get started Okay, so uh, we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add Sprite, of course. And you know what? Let's just draw some of our art, even though Craft Picks is amazing. Uh, let's get a circle here. And uh, let's do one of these. And that's what we got going. Boom. All right, so let's just call this our player. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the rotate behavior on this. And what this is going to do is, if I just go ahead and I hit play, you will see the rotate behavior operating as intended. So that's good. Uh, that's enabled. And let's come back here. Let's put it closer towards. Oh, no, let's put closer towards the center. And let's also add some controls here. I'm going to use my keyboard, it's my computer. And what we're going to do is, we're going to add some events. I'm going to use on the keyboard. I'm going to use the A key. To do um, one set of events and I'm gonna make it player rotate I want to rotate counterclockwise if I hit a mm. now I want to do you know that works okay, let's do that uh, number of degrees to rotate let's do it 10 all right, and then what we'll also do is then we'll duplicate this. Ah, that's why. This isn't the rotate behavior. This is just rotating it. I was like, oh, that's not right. Uh, that's underneath angle. So if you come here, let's go to uh, set speed. What I want this to be then is minus 30 if I do A. And if I do uh, D. I want this to be positive 30. Okay. And 
I can go back, I can go forward. That's pretty slow, but it's working. Okay, let's speed this up. Minus 180. And this one be 180. All right, now let's also incorporate uh, a couple things. So we've got some tweens things that we need to do. Let's give ourselves some targets. All right, let's make them red and a circle. That makes sense to me. There's our target. And we're gonna call this target. We're gonna call, we're gonna give it the tween behavior. And uh, what we're gonna do is right away on the start of layout system, start of layout, I want the target to tween the position one property or I think I can do it just on the X yep go at X position and uh, bum, 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 bum. I don't know let's make it thousand can I loop it? I can't remember. Loop. Yes. Ping pong, yes. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. Going super slow. All right. Because it's in five seconds. Um, and it started pretty close to it. Uh, let's do one second. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's going back and forth. I like that. Okay, you can guess what we're going to do here. It's going to be good. All right, old-fashioned shooting game. All right, so let's have this come over here. Uh, this is roughly at the 1900. So let's come over here. Let's have this go to uh, 1900. Let's do it over three seconds. That's probably going to be pretty quick. Go pretty quick at least. Yeah, I'm sure I will miss that pretty, pretty regularly. So let's make this like 1600 over five seconds. Okay. And what we're also going to do is we're going to give ourselves some projectiles. Uh, let's come in here, do Sprite, do this. Do I have any good old fireballs? Of course I do. Yep, these will work. We'll just have these guys uh, do some, some looping. Yeah, that'll work. Pixel, who cares? All right. That's what's gonna fire out of our glorious handmade cannon. Oh, do that to the whole animation. I'll do it individually now since Make sure that looks good. And let's add a image point here. Add a new image point to right there. Image point one. Now you know what, we probably won't even use that, but and this is kind of shifted. Do this. Close enough, okay. So, and let's give this the bullet behavior, since we're going to be using it as a bullet. And call this uh, fireball. Okay. And what we will do is on the event of the keyboard, and let's do the space bar. What I want to do is, oh, I'm sorry. Keyboard, on key pressed. Space bar, done. I would like to create object fireball at the uh, player uh, dot image point x of one and let's do this for y and then what I would also like to then do is fireball Bullet um, uh, 
I'm going to set the angle of motion to be equal to the flared uh, angle. It'll probably not feel right when I first try it. We got two minutes and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Ninety degrees off. Yep, ninety degrees off. I'm just gonna do some um, really hacky stuff here without fixing things and see if that fixes it. Yeah, kind of does. Oh wow, this is gonna be a really hard game. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's see what we got here. All right, we got a minute and 56 seconds left. And what we're going to do is on the event that our fireball. Uh, you know what? I don't want to let this angle set the angle. We'll let it always kind of go up. And in the event that we happen to have the fireball is overlapping another object, the target, um, I want to... Add a global variable, let's call it score. Uh, I want to have the system set value of score is equal to score plus one. And let's add a big old text box here that we make like, I don't know, 36. And let's make the color white. Or whatever. Uh, let's do every tick system. Every tick. Uh, the text. The text. The score. Uh, and score. We do this. Should be zero. And we've kind of got a fun game. We've got, you know. Some uh, chaotic. Oh, I got one. Oh, that was kind of funny. Okay, so it made it 32 because it was overlapping. So that was a little bit of a bug. But you know what? I think that we accomplished making our little shooter game here. And we even had nine seconds off the spare. Uh, what we should have done is on the collision rather than overlap. So we'll fix that real quick since we have just a moment overlapping it should be on collision not overlapping and then it will just be one all right guys that's our game really hope you guys enjoy watching me create a game in 10 minutes uh construct 3 is a joy to work with highly encourage you go and check it out if you liked what you saw please subscribe really appreciate it have very few subscribers right now i'm just doing this for fun but you will make my day if you do subscribe so thank you and have a nice